collaboration between the UK and India in healthcare is already very strong. Uh, there's already a lot of exchange going on in terms of medical education, uh, in terms of the development of different medical and surgical specialties, in the use of data and of course in the use of and development of drugs. The companies that have come here on the mission are looking to think about how they can identify needs and adapt their solutions to potentially provide solutions working here with partners in India. As the world moves towards an increasingly materialistic, infrastructure-oriented, creature comforts environment. How can we enjoy all this unless we have good health? So a focus on healthcare is very, very important for both countries. What's become very clear to us is affordability, access, and standards and that's why we feel there are so many synergies and opportunities for us to share our experience with India. The real advantage would be that together we could create something which is going to be better than what exists in both places and that's a model which we could actually take elsewhere as well, Indeed. back to the UK. There's a, a, a big need to make sure that patients get led to the right next level of care. So we've had lots of interest from uh, Indian insurance companies, uh, but both from local government and uh, a national government level as well. Our BNJ mission is to create a healthier world, and this we do via publishing our journals. So BNJ still remains the flagship journal, one of the most read medical journals around the world, and very popular here in India as well. The whole smart cities concept of increasing the whole infrastructure and bringing all the connective systems together, a TPP system of having a unified record available across multiple different healthcare settings, makes it a fantastic opportunity. Things are happening. We have a minister and a ministry that are committed uh, to driving through substantial reforms in healthcare. Healthcare is great because the NHS is fantastic. It's the most wonderful healthcare system in the world. A guarantee of free healthcare to every citizen, no matter what their wealth is, at the point of clinical need. And I think that's a, such a fundamental social contract. What we've got to do now is to continue to improve the quality of the healthcare, continue to improve patients' access to healthcare. And the only way we can do that is by revolutionizing the way we provide it and bring down costs dramatically so that it remains affordable. Mm -hmm.